Uh, is this the recording? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Oh, this. Yeah. This, this is the thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm just start. Take, take us over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take us over. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, uh, can, can you take your hoodie off? Can you take your hoodie off, please? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, your mic's too relaxed, right by the way. Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay. Right. Right. My name is uh Chris Johnson. Um, I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana, and uh, I'm a YouTuber. And I haven't uploaded in one year. Um, uh, back in uh, 2017, when um, you know, slime, fidget spinners, and um, uh, tunnel vision were all popular things, um, um, I decided to uh, post um, some of my musicals on uh, YouTube. Musically, musically, um. Uh, it was um uh, before TikTok. It was called Musically, so yeah. Hey Morgan. Yes. Morgan, please. Uh, and then I uh, started um uh, posting more videos on my channel. Um, uh, I remember I posted a Try Not to Laugh video. I posted um an eight um, um an eight pull video that I did. Um, and then um, uh, I started cashing in views, you know, around 50 views each video, um, uh, sometimes went to 60 or 70. And um, and then there was this one video that I made that kind of really started me on my YouTube journey. The video was called, What Does Grounded Mean? Um, it was supposed to be a conversation against these two friends, which uh, one didn't know what the word grounded meant, and the other one was confused and was concerned because I do not know what grounded means. It was, it was, it was my first video. It, um, you know, kind of stupid, kind of cringy, but you know, everyone has to start out somewhere, you know? Yeah, I got some, like, water I could probably drink. Water? No. No? No, 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 no water, no water. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, can you uh, talk about your early life? Oh. Okay, uh, all right then. Um, I was raised by my mom and my dad, and then you know, uh, six years later, I had my uh, my uh, my sister, my, sis my uh, eight-year-old sister Chloe. We also had a dog. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. We also had a dog. We'd also um, raised some pigs. Yeah, we also raised some pigs. Uh, we also had some uh, some chickens. We had them um, uh, in the backyard. We, all, we had this little gate that we blocked it off from the side. Got some chickens up in there. Let me see, Chris. Yeah. Were you raised on a farm? No, I wasn't. Why did you ask that? No, no reason, no reason. Oh, uh, okay. Well, all right, Mr. Chris. So Also, um, I had, I had Steve. Steve? Steve? Um, he was, um, he was a pet rat that I used to take care of when I was around six. You know, and um, you know, it was um. <laughs> he um. Unfortunately, passed away one day. When I was um, we were out feeding him, and um, <laughs> and we were playing, and uh, I fed him some food. And um, he, 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 he was walking away when I filmed the food. He just dropped and died. <laughs> um, <laughs> what did you feed him? Well, we didn't have any like f food in the house at the time. So like, I looked at the cabinet <laughs> and I saw we had this thing called rat eggs and it looked like rat food. And so then I just gave it to him and he dropped and died. Mr. Chris Johnson? Yeah. Uh, you said rat X, right? Yeah. Uh, that's, uh, rat poisoning. Rat poisoning? Uh, y yeah. Hold on, I, I need some alone time. Uh, oh, uh, Mr. Johnson, move? where are you, where are you, where are you no, going? Sir, please, no, go. where are you just going? Move, just move. Uh, no, but your mic is still on. Okay, he just left the room. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> Steve. So, so, so young. Oh, he went farting over the place and he stopped. Oh. Ah, uh, okay. I'm a lot better. I'm a lot better, guys. I'm okay. Alright. So, uh, what were we saying? So, I've been hearing that you've been at Ron's Boxing Club, boxing, trying to get back to the boxing, because I feel you used to box uh, before. Uh, yes, that is, uh, that is true. Um... You know, I've been um, uh, boxing there at Ron's for about, you know, three months. And, you know, that really um, uh, brought me and boxing back together in life because I remember I used to box when I was little. You know, um, uh, when I was nine years old, I used to always go to my dad's um, uh, gym, you know, hit the speed bag and, you know, hit the bag, you know, um, uh, do some miss with him. But, you know, me um, um, coming uh, back to boxing really, you know, boosted me up and made me more confident because, you know, I was... Um, you know, I'm uh, making myself stronger, you know, I'm uh, losing weight, and, you know, I'm uh, getting myself back into the sport of boxing, you feel me? And, you know, uh, my boy Ron, uh, which um, uh, the gym that I go to, Ron's uh, boxing gym, you know, it's, um, he, he takes care of the gym. He's, uh, you know, very nice guy. I'm, um, and, you know, um, me and him, we have a very, very good connection, you know. I go there almost um, uh, every day. Didn't you um, uh, get kicked out of the gym because um, you wasn't able to pay for your membership? I I, I don't I don't know I don't know what you're talking about. Hey yo, what's up, coach? Hey man, your membership due. What? You ain't paid your membership in I don't know how long. What do you mean? It's due, man. All right, you need to pay your membership. But you gotta pay your membership. You do. It's time to pay, or you gotta go. Listen, man, don't bring that junk up, bro. I'm not trying to have that in my documentary. Come on, man. Why are you trying to do that, bro? You trying to ruin me, bro? No, no, no. Don't no, do that. No, I'm not trying to ruin it. I'm not trying to ruin it. Bro. Thank you. Don't don't do that, Jim, bro. Don't don't put that in the documentary. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. <sighs> Alright. Um, what are we talking about next? You know, the people that um uh, go to Ron's um uh, with me, you know, the people that are there that are training with me, you know, they're very nice people, and, you know. Uh, to be honest, I'm probably one of the top two best boxers in that gym. There's a lot of people that go to Ron's gym, by the way, like about 200. And um, most of them are around the same age as me. And they're like, you know, experienced boxers. And it's crazy how a man like me can come in there that's not been boxing for about two years and can go in there and, uh, you know, hustle with them and be better than them, you know. I, I should have went pro, but, you know, I stuck with this, you know. I, I decided to do the documentary thing. So if it wasn't for... This documentary, I would have been, you know, out knocking people out in the ring right now. So, you know, yeah. Did people that used to come to Ron's gym say that you were a great boxer? Oh, yeah. People said I was terrible. Terrible boxer. This man should have never came back to boxing. He should have just left boxing when he was little. This man has the worst strength, speed. He can't even move with his feet. He can't even last one round in the ring. That's how terrible he is. His stance is terrible. It's like a giraffe trying to walk on twos. That's how terrible of a boxer he is. We spiled once and I've knocked him out twice already. Out. I didn't say knock down. Out. I sent this man to the hospital and I barely even touched him. Terrible boxer. If Mike Tyson would have ever seen the way this man boxes, he would have punched him squarely in the face. And I'm not even joking. He told me. I know his phone number. I'm friends with his son. He said what? Uh, he said that you were a terrible boxer and that um, the first time y'all sparred, he knocked you out twice and sent you to the hospital. He also said that if Mike Tyson ever saw the way you boxed, he would have punched you square in the face. Um, oh, by the way, he also uh, blurred his face. Um, Why did he blur his face? Uh, well, I, I think he did, you know, for, for privacy purposes. You know, for man, I don't even care about all that, bro. You know, I don't even care about all that, man. If I would have saw him in real life, I would have... Beat his butt up anyway, bro. Uh, I don't think you should say that, man. Like, no, 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 no. It's true. No, nah, but you know he pretty big dude, bro. I would have beat him up. Big dude. Like, all that stuff he was saying was a lie. Tommy like knocked me out in two rounds. You didn't knock me out in no two rounds. I knocked you out in two rounds, boy. Wait, what? No, 
Hey, what's up? What's up, bro? Uh, jump, jump up, bro. Come on, beat me up. I, I didn't, I didn't say all that. Uh, what's this? What's this? Though? What's this? I want to beat him up? All that stuff you were saying was yeah, a lie. Yeah, who's this? Tell um, me, bro. Look, listen, bro. We can, we can talk about this. 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 Whoa! Oh! God. No, I'm not okay. Yeah, yeah, security didn't help me. They just sat there and started smiling. But you know, sometimes our security likes to smile and stuff at things like that. No, I'm I'm done, bro. No, I'm doing. No, I'm doing. I'm doing the rest of this tomorrow. I'm done. No, I'll see y'all tomorrow, bro. So for that one year that you didn't upload a video. What were you uh, doing for that whole year? Uh, well, you know, uh, during that um, uh, year of uh, not posting on YouTube, uh, I've been doing a lot of stuff during that time. You know, um, I remember I tried uh, cutting um, um, cutting people's hair as a barber. All right, man, what are we looking for, man? What are we looking for? Uh, well, for today, man, I was going to you know, nice uh, light fade and then a um, uh, nice trim on top of my head. Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. So, man, how'd you hear about us, man? How'd you hear about us? Well, uh, me and my girlfriend, we just moved down here, man. So, you know, uh, usually I cut my own hair, but, you know, I my, my old stuff, my old cooking stuff broke. So, you know, I saw this joint and I just came up in here, man. Y'all look nice, man. Y'all look nice. Oh, shoot, man. There's a lot of, of dust up in here. <laughs> oh, yo, my bad, man. You know, I'm. You know, I got allergy problems, but you know, there's a lot of dust in the air, you feel me? Yo, uh, why, why'd you stop, man? Is everything okay, man? Um, you know, I just wanted to, you know, look look at what I'm working with here, man, you know? You got some, you got some very unique hair. Hey, man, uh, I'm gonna go in the back real quick. Uh, I need to go, um, uh, get, uh, my new clipper. This one, this one's not really working. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, no, it's all good. Y'all good, y'all good, man. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, man. Uh, I tried commentating for, um, uh, a college basketball team. Welcome everyone back from commercial break. My name is Chris Johnson. And I'm David Byrne. Welcome back to CK Basketball. We got the Indiana Beavers versus the Chicago Sodas. 114 to 114. It's tied up right now in the fourth quarter. Ten seconds left. I wonder what's gonna happen. Let's soon find out. They pass it to Benjamin. Benjamin goes down. He's making a play. He sits there. He shoots it. I went around the, the state to go to schools to read books to little kids. Hi there class, my name is Chris Johnson and this is story time with Chris. Um, I came past to your school to you know read some stories to um, uh, you little kids. So how's everyone doing? Good, that's good. Um, all right then. Well, I'm going to be reading everyone here a story that I made. It's called The Chicken and the Pig. All right. All right, kids. Once upon a time, there was a chicken named Robert. Robert was a very special chicken. He was mysteriously brought into a back of a van. They took him to a factory where they cut him up into little chicken wings. No, no. Guys, guys, why are you crying? No, 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 stop, guys, that's a good thing. That means that Robert was sacrificed for 
us to eat him. No! Also went down to Niagara Falls. Oh uh, well, um, uh, last week um, uh, when we were done shooting the last shot of the documentary, um, uh, I took um, uh, a break and uh, you know spent the last week uh, down there in Niagara Falls to go down to the waterfall um, um, to see the beautiful, beautiful water of Niagara Falls. You know, um, you know the clear water running down that uh, that cliff, so beautiful, so so, so beautiful that rushing water. Um, there was a lot of people down there too, um, but you know such a beautiful. Beautiful sight. Hello, can you uh, can I hear me? Yeah. Uh, so um, I was gonna say that um, um, you know, he was not the only one that was down there in um, uh, Niagara Falls. I was also there too. But you know, the um, the reason why I was down there is because um, after what he said, um. um uh, about two weeks ago, um, um, about me and him and the whole boxing thing, you know, really ticked me off. And uh, me punching him uh, in the face really didn't, 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 didn't um, um, release all my anger out. So, you know, I wanted to just punch him in the face one more time. So I was um, following him for the last week in Niagara Falls, you know, trying trying to get close to punching him in the face again. But, you know, I, it, it, it's, it's, it didn't work out. And um, um, sooner, sooner or later, he he left randomly out of nowhere, and um, I was stuck in Niagara Falls because I actually missed my flight to come back to Indiana. So, you know, um, I'm stuck down here in Niagara Falls. But um, don't worry, I had a plan. I sent um, uh, someone that I know out to get him. All right, uh, Mr. Chris Johnson. As we uh, end off the documentary, um, I was going to ask you one, one more question. Um, I just want your thoughts on um, uh, 2020 and um, what it um, taught you. Um, well, um, um, you know, with uh, 2020, there was, uh, you know, COVID-19 and, you know, we had to stay indoors with the pandemic. Um, there was a lot of people that we lost in 2020. And, you know, Kobe, you know, Chadwick Boseman, you know, um, um, other people, et cetera, that died last year in 2020. Uh, you know, the riots. And you know, just everything that was happening in 2020 was, you know, it was it was a rocky, rocky ride. But you know, um, uh, you know, me not posting it showed me, you know, that things can get better. That there's always light at the end of the tunnel. Um, you know, it's just, you know, just gotta pray, and keep on going forward. You know, um, but you know, I'm uh, doing this documentary is, um, is definitely. Um, gonna be a really great start for my YouTube especially on me not uploading for a whole year and, you know I just want to say that you know that this is this is this is finally gonna be the start of something new for me especially what happened last year you know this is gonna be a good start um, you know so yeah that's all I really have to say about that we're done we're done? Let's go, man. Oh, man, I can't wait for this to come out, man. All oh, the stuff.